Hi, my name is Carleen Mavit, and this video is about the efforts of the Community Babylon Sanctuary in Belize to protect the black howler monkeys. But first, just a little bit about Belize. The only English-speaking country in Central America, Belize has many secrets to discover. The largest barrier reef in the Western Hemisphere, the turquoise seas, the world full of color, movement, and spectacular marine life. Tropical jungle vegetation, teeming with exotic animals of all colors, shapes, and sizes. In Belize, you can have natural wonders all to yourself. Where the jungle floor hides another Belize, waiting to be discovered. Full of wonder and mystery. Belize is a rich spiritual landscape. A Caribbean gateway to an ancient Mayan world. A perfect proportion of the works of man and the wild beauty of nature. The Community Pabon Sanctuary is located in the Burbuna Landing Village in rural Belize. Established in 1985, this sanctuary is unique as it is a pioneer in community-based conservation. It is among the first in the world where all the lands are privately owned. Well, the Community Pabon Sanctuary was established in um, on February 23rd, 1985 by a primatologist from Basel, Wisconsin, Dr. Robert Howitt. And um, after doing research in Mexico and Guatemala, he found out that uh, Belize had some monkeys. Um, he saw a film done by Richard and Harold Pasta in the same community here. Um, on the monkeys and so that brought him to the test to study the monkeys and soon found out that we had monkeys from Guatemala and Costa Rica. And, um, Harwich then went around with Alec uh, Young to the other communities and um, they all had other landowners signed up and so uh, today we have like 240 members. There are 10 different species of hauler monkeys and all are found in Central and South America. The black hauler monkeys are endemic to Belize, Guatemala and Mexico with the highest population being found in Belize. Habitat destruction remains the biggest threat to baboons as they are locally known. Baboons are territorial and mark their territories with their loud howls, which can re heard up to three miles in the jungle. Since habitat destruction is one of the biggest ills plaguing these primates, the Community Baboon Sanctuary, or CBS, comprises of farmers who pledge to retain a portion of their lands intact for the monkeys' use. As long as I am alive, my, my land will be part of the Community Baboon Sanctuary. And I have six children and I, I try to teach them about um, what we should do and so I do believe that they would do the same thing if I am not around, you know, try to protect the, the wildlife. Like many other places, CBS has seen a reduction in forest cover. Despite this, the Holland monkeys in that range have increased in population. In fact, they are so successful in restoring their population that they are being translocated into other parts of the country, especially the Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary. The ability of the holler monkeys to thrive despite this reduction in forest cover may be attributed to the fact that they have small home and day ranges, relatively small troop sizes, and have flexible diets. CBS was initially managed by Belize Audubon Society, but is now being managed by a seven-member women's conservation group, a member from each of the participating seven villages. In 1998, um, the sanctuary had its share of problems, and so Mr. Young decided that why don't you form a women's group? 
and tried to take over the affairs of the sanctuary. And I said, you know what, that is a very good idea. And so I did, and I, I, um, I called a meeting in different communities, and um, people agreed, and that was how the Women's Conservation Group that is managing the sanctuary today got started. Um, that was in 1998, and we are still here today. The CBS is a stellar example of grassroots people coming together for the sole purpose of preserving a species. Even without the economic incentives, black hollow monkeys are fondly regarded by the villagers. This was seen in farmers' readiness to sacrifice their lands for the benefits of the baboons. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching.